Hello guys, welcome to this 3D Blast tutorial. My name is Carlos Sosa and in this occasion we're going to be learning about why use Remesh. Okay, this is a very cool option that we have inside Blender. I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial what is Remesh, when to use it and the different ways to Remesh. Okay, so let's just dive into Blender right now on my um, left down corner I'm, you're gonna find my screencast so you can see all the keys that I'm typing okay all right I'm just gonna delete this I'm gonna put my UV sphere by the way I have active this cavity option so you can see the polygons a little bit better because we need to because the remesh option is all about topology if I go to edit mode on these model you're going to see how it is built it even has some polygons that has that have um, three vertices on this part because that's how the uv sphere works but if i go to my modifiers i'm going to look for the remesh modifier and i'm just going to click it and you're going to see what happening what's happening and you can see all the polygons are now differently organized of course if i go to edit mode it's still the same but um if i just press apply it's going to change all the structure of this uv sphere and you're going to be wondering why why is this happening what is it useful for so i'm going to show you if you go to sculpt mode let's just say you are trying to sculpt something let's just pick our a snake hook brush and let's say you're just starting to just pull this geometry what's going to happen is that as we you don't have enough geometry this is just going to start to break and whenever you try to pull it a little bit more it's just not going to work because that's the nature of 3d modeling you don't have enough polygons on this part here okay but what about if I go to my modifiers and I'm just gonna put the remesh modifier see what's gonna happen is this is completely gonna remesh <laughs> it's gonna completely fill this with new polygons and I can start working with this again you see and if I just let's say apply this it's gonna have all these new pixels uh, I mean sorry new polygons these are actually voxels pixels is like a measurement that we use when we work with 2d but uh, in 3d is called voxels but um still has polygons inside so don't get confused it's just the voxel is just like a um, way to measure this but it still uses polygons so let's just press ctrl z to go back and show you a different method of using this remesh option the second way to use the remesh is if we go to the object data here object data properties you're going to see that you also have a remesh option here uh, this one is very interesting if i go to quad and i press quad flow remesh I'm gonna bring this down to maybe 200 faces and press ok watch what's going to happen I'm gonna put it like here okay it's gonna take a while and then what it's gonna do you see it's just completely recalculated this let's do it one more time with less polygons maybe 200 okay you see what's happening is that created a new flow inside this uv sphere it's not a uv sphere anymore it's just this model with all polygons with four vertices of course you can i'm going to go back you can change this there we go yeah if you go to quads you can make more quads less quads you can change the seed and if i press ok you see it's gonna have less polygons but um it's completely gonna recalculate the flow of vertices on this model if i go to voxel 
which is just for this measure. Uh, here I'm gonna click voxel remesh and it's gonna do basically the same that the modifier was doing. See, it's just gonna repopulate this with new polygons. And um, let's just analyze more options. If you go to a sculpt mode, you have the same one here on the upper right corner. You can see you have voxel size. You don't have the quad option, okay, but you have the voxel option. And let's just press remesh. And it's gonna do the same. So same use for this, you know, if you are trying to find some nice shapes, but you don't have enough polygons, you just gotta remesh and just remesh it and then you know you already have new polygons on these parts. And um, the last option, which is for me one of my favorites. Now wait, I'm gonna show you also the how to do it with only using your keyboard. If you don't wanna go to this menu right here, you can do it also on your keyboard by pressing the Shift R. This only works in on sculpt mode, okay? But the Shift R is gonna be showing you the size of the voxel here. So I'm going to define the size of the voxel, click, and then with Control R, you're going to apply this to the model, you see? Now, just did the same thing. So, you just say I want to do this again, Control R, and it's just going to repopulate this with polygons, you know? So that's a pretty handy tool. And the last option is going to be the dynamic topology so i'm going to stay with this snake hook brush and i'm going to go to dean topo or dynamic topology here and uh, let's just bring the detail size i mean actually it's gonna uh, get more details if i do this and now if i just use my snake hook tool you see what's happening it's just creating new geometry on the way i don't need to be recalculating it i don't need to be remeshing it from here i don't need to be putting any modifier it's just gonna immediately just bring out new topology and create new polygons on this part which is quite quite cool you see and it works with almost all of the brushes. If I go to this scrape brush, it's also gonna, you see it's also gonna change the whole topology. Um, some With some of them, it doesn't work. Like for example, with the bluff, it doesn't work. You see, it all, it's only bringing it, it's only inflating it, but um, it's not with this one neither. Uh, let's try with the clay stripes. No, it doesn't work. No, wait, my dynamic topology is off. I think one of the brushes turned it off. But um, yeah, with this one works. With the bluff, uh, actually, it does. But some of them just deactivate, you see. When I'm switching between brushes, kind of like deactivates this option. So be careful with that. And uh, yeah, that will be the last use I have for the um, for the remesh tool. So it's a pretty cool option when you are modeling. I mean, when you're sculpting something, it just helps you to find an idea. Don't worry too much about modeling and all the technical stuff of 3D modeling. You can just let your your ideas flow and make some some really cool stuff with this tool. So I hope this tutorial has been useful. And I'm gonna leave on the on the on this part of my YouTube channel on the comments uh, the link for this course that is environment design using Mid Journey and Blender. I know these past days and the last week has been really crazy, and all artists complaining about uh, artificial intelligence. I myself also believe that um, it's not fair that some companies are just taking pictures and taking the artwork from many artists without paying them without any copyright or without any law that 
regulates what's happening, but um, the AI is here to stay. And I think with the um, next years, it's just gonna become better and better. So we need to start really learning it and applying it on our workflow. So that's what I'm doing on this course. I'm creating uh, an AI image using Midjourney, and then I'm recreating it in 3D so you can learn how to do that. And then of course, with this image, you can animate it and use it for production, but it's all starting from an artificial intelligence generated image. So if you wanna check it out, I'll leave it on the comments. You can find it on the Blender Market, on Gumroad, and also on QBrush. And I'll see you next week for more tutorials on Blender, guys. Cheers.